Oh yeah! Woo! Little change like that made a whole world of difference. Hey guys, so a common issue that amateur golfers face is swaying in their takeaway. It's something that I struggle with and I'm sure you're struggling with it as well. And if you wanna learn how to fix it, this video's for you. So today we have a special guest, Kevin Sprecher, head of instruction at Sleepy Hollow Country Club. We've worked with him many times. We've been through many, many club fittings and a few lessons, even a playing lesson, which is one of my favorite things we've done on the course together. Today, I wanted you to come back in here and help me with something that you pointed out originally is my sway in my backswing. Yeah, you can't go through life swaying. Yeah. It just doesn't work, especially, you know, because your feet are important. If you get on the outsides of your feet, you can't swing, you know, your downswing gets off because you can't push off the outside of your foot. What I like to do is measure people and see how you're supposed to move and you're not supposed to sway that much yeah. and then teach you how to move properly. So there's always lateral, but you don't want to have too much. And then doing a couple of things to, to reduce how much rattle you have to make it easier to, to make your downswing move. So, I mean, when you think about it, obviously, I don't think we think about this a lot. We just think about going like this. But when you really think about this way, when I pull a club, I feel my, my arms pulling my body back. Your arms pull your body back, but we need to use the ground to redirect the way your body goes. Uh -huh. So, when your arms pull your body back, if you didn't push on your right foot, you would keep going off to the right, you would sway. So, if I asked you to push down on your foot, that acts as a brace, and it actually, it helps my right hip go backwards. Like how do you how do you move your right hip back? This way? You're like that. Yeah. But if I was to measure what you're doing on your feet, so if we put the salted golf under your feet with the pressure, you put pressure on the ball of your right foot. Mm -hmm. Right? If I put the pressure on the ball of my right foot, and I, that's how I push my hip back. Got it. Your hip your hip won't go back if your foot's not connected to the ground. I can't move my hip back right, right. now. So by, by putting my foot on the ground, applying pressure and doing this, that pushes my hip back. That's what stops the sway. So do a backswing for me. And imagine if I stuck something, I'm not gonna do this, but if my finger was stuck underneath your foot, mm -hmm. you, I, wanna, I want you to squish this, and when, when you push down, this should go this way. Right. That makes sense? Yep. And that's what stops you from swaying. And we can do a few things to help you with, with that. We can turn your right foot out a little bit, which will give you a little greater range of motion. Okay. Okay. And then I want you to just feel like you, you push back on your, you know, actually put the club behind your hips, behind your hips, okay, get in your golf posture. Okay, so now I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little resistance here. Now you gotta go ahead and do, turn back. How are you doing that? What do you feel on your feet? Or, I feel most of the pressure here now. Okay, so you feel like you're pushing. Yep. Yeah. So that's and how back you, there. Yep. There. So that's the feeling I want you to have. If you do that, notice you didn't sway. Right. All right. So go ahead and do it again. Turn there. So you're using your feet. You feel it in your yeah. left side. So now go ahead and simulate that with a swing. Do a practice backswing and try to get that same sensation that we just had. Just the backswing. Yeah, you feel that? Yeah. See, there was no sway there. If I were to put some lines on you there, or however we, we, we can measure it, your hips rotated. Rotate. I'm not saying you don't go into your right side. You do. You still put a lot of pressure into your right side. Your hips may move a little bit to the right, but you're not doing pure lateral anymore. And what's, what is the ultimate result? I mean, obviously, striking the ball cleaner, getting a better shot, it's also going to shallow me out, not be as steep. Great. You're not going to get as steep. You're going to be able to transition sooner. You typically, when you sway, you get on the outside of your foot so you can't push off, so you lean or you pull down with your arms. And that's where your, your, your sort of dig a lot comes from, yeah. right? But it also makes it hard to generate a, the proper speed. You got a strong upper body so you get away with it, but you shouldn't have to use your upper body for the strength. Sure. You want your power to come from your legs, but if you get your legs going first, that would shallow you out. Easier to change your swing direction, easier to release the club because your arms wouldn't be the power source anymore. Your, your legs would be. Get on it. Feel it? Mm -hmm. Now go ahead and go. Yeah. Woo. Okay, so now do it without a stop. Okay. Make it like a real swing. Hey, you did it. Yeah. Mike, I want, I want you to try this app. It's called Perfect Motion. Okay. And it uses the cameras in the phone and the program's got AI in it to help monitor what your body does. So I'm gonna put it down here in front of you. Okay. We're in a training mode with no ball, which is what I like about it. You can practice ball. indoors. Okay, okay, so look at the target. Swing. Okay, swing. Making progress. So it's making progress. So that was a little bit better. So what it does is go ahead and do another one. Okay. And it, it's just tracking what your body Two. is doing. One, set up to swing. Look to target. Look back at ball. Swing. Perfect motion. There, you did it. So now, <laughs> now do one where you sway too much. Okay. Okay, so do it wrong. Do it wrong. Three, two, 
1. Set up to swing. Look to target. Look back at ball. Swing. Making progress. Yeah. It, it gives you a readout. And it shows you how much you're moving around. And it has all, you know, all these things. In, and it'll, like the first one, you went too far forward. Right. The last one, you went you went up and to the right, you yeah. moved out of it. So it shows you that, and then in there, there'll be a, you, know, you, you can go to view fix, and then it'll show you a drill that I have for you to, to fix oh, whatever cool the fault it is. I love that. Right, so in there, so it's just a perfect thing to take it home. It's a low cost option. I think it's $6 a month, but you can do it with a ball, without a ball. It gives you great feedback. And the thing I like about it is you do a swing, I immediately get the, the swing on my phone. So when you do it on your uh, phone. I love that. So you can be out practicing, Say, hey, I'm struggling a little bit. Right. I'll take a look at the perfect mode. Hey, it looks like you're doing this, this, and that. Try this. Boom, go try it. Have a great day. But, but for cool. someone who's got a body motion issue like what you're doing there, it's a, it's a great reference, and it's highly accurate, and it's low cost, which is what I like. Yeah. Oh, so, so that green one that said perfect. Yeah, so, so this one was a perfect motion. So, yep. you, so you started out in the right spot. So the, this is the trace of it. You moved a little to the right, and you went left, and there is impact. It gives you tempo. There's lots of other things that it that does, and really? it gives you a gives you a PPI score so you can kind of see if you're getting better or not getting better. We can play games, there's a lot it can do, but but for personal use at home, to, to know that you're moving correctly just speeds up the learning curve. Yeah. It takes well, all the guesswork out. Well now, my big question is, is as a result of this, will I start to see some more draw pattern? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Shall we try? Let's try. Oh, that was so different. Different, it felt different. Did it feel more solid? <laughs> You want there, there. You wanted to hit it left. You hit it left. So for those Kevin who struggle with this at home, who are watching this video, it's just something they could do in their house. What can they do to kind of get this thing under control? Um, I use exercise bands, and I tie it onto. Let's say for you, it's this side. So I'll, I'll, I'll tie it onto here, and okay. I'll tie it onto a door. Gotcha. Okay. So now, if I'm the exercise band, put it put it below your your, your right, butt. So it's just pulling on, it this way. Yeah, so I'm going to create the, the. Now you have to push back. Right. So by you doing that. Yeah, I've eliminated yeah. the, the ability to go that way. So if you take a band and do it, that's that way. If you want to learn to turn the other way, so do it again. So for your downswing, so now try to turn through. So that's how you learn the other side. Yeah, wow. So you can use bands to create that resistance. Well, that's cool. Um, the app is very good, mm -hmm. the Perfect Motion app. You can put two lines on a mirror. Use a dry erase marker or something or masking tape and just watch yourself in the mirror. And just practice your hips going, you know, practice turning. The old mirror trick. Yeah, I'm gonna try that. Those are simple, but you know, visual and feel together, you learn a lot faster because feels will fool you. Yeah. So if you can see what you're feeling, and or use it or use some kind of resistance to increase the feel, you learn it a lot faster. All simple things to do at home. All right, time to practice. Oh yeah! Woo! Little change like that made a whole world of difference. I knew I had the sway issue. It was just about how do I fix it and those little moves. I'm actually gonna try that one when I get there. Kevin, thank you so much. This is gonna be big for my golf game, I know it is. So for any of our viewers who wanna get in touch with you and work with you, how do they do it? The best way, and thank you, that looks really good. The, the, the best way is um, on my social, go to Kevin Sprecher Golf, or you can go to kevinsprecher.com and you can find all my information on there. Um, plus they can always reach out to you guys. Um, thank you for your support. Your, your guys' tribe has been tremendous and, and uh, hopefully what, what we did here will help you at home.